In the world of football, speed and strength reign supreme. Yet Lionel Messi introduces a distinctive element. The unique utilization of his cognitive prowess. Envision dissecting football through the lens of neuroscience. What insights would emerge? Messi transcends mere athletic prowess. His true enchantment lies in his on-field cognition, in his profound comprehension of the game. We look at something called scan rate. This is how many times a player scans in the 10 seconds before they receive the ball. Let's embark on an unconventional football journey, a journey guided by neuroscience to unravel the secrets behind Messi's brilliance. This transcends beyond just skills and goals. It's a captivating exploration into the intricacies of an an extraordinary mind in action. I'm Dr. Sunil Rege, consultant psychiatrist. Let's prepare ourselves to delve into the cognitive realm of this footballing maestro. Some of you might not know I'm a big football fan. And when it comes to football, there's one person that stands above the rest, arguably the best player in the world, Lionel Messi. And today, we're delving into the fascinating world of neuroscience to uncover the secrets behind Lionel Messi's extraordinary success as a footballer. A heartbeat. And Messi! On his shoulders. And Messi answers the ball. Prepare to learn how Messi's mastery of scanning, implicit memory, and enhanced decision-making on the pitch has made him one of the best footballers in the world. This knowledge will transform your understanding of excellence, not just in sports, but in any other field. What sets Messi apart as one of the best footballers in the world? Let's start off with his exceptional scan rate. Messi's ability to scan the pitch almost twice as fast as his peers is a game changer. Messi employs microscanning, utilizing subtle head and eye movements coupled with peripheral vision to gather crucial information about his surroundings while staying connected with the ball. Messi is the absolute master of it. And looking at the videos, for example, in the World Cup 2022 game against Poland, he had a staggering scan frequency of 0.38. That was 680 times that Messi scanned during the game. On average, Premier League forwards have a scan frequency of 0.28, with Messi's 35.7% better than that. Through scanning, Messi has an extraordinary ability to perceive and act appropriately upon receiving critical information on the pitch, also enabling him to act under extreme levels of pressure. Wonderful! <laughs> scanning in football is a crucial skill that helps with enhanced decision making. What's even more incredible are his reaction times compared to other players. If you look at Upper Meccano's gaze, you'll see that it's always a few tenths of a second behind Messi's. He knows exactly what's going to happen, but his head is always like this. He's always moving. This skill of gathering information to enhance decision making is linked to excellence in various fields, including becoming a better decision maker in any endeavor. But sticking to football, let's find out why scanning is so important. To understand this, let's delve into the basics of learning and especially enhanced learning. You see, enhanced learning revolves around minimizing what's known as reward prediction errors, RPEs. RPEs are nothing but surprise signals that are generated when there is a mismatch between prediction and outcome. Enhanced decision makers analyze these situations, these mismatches between prediction and outcome and try to minimize these errors. This is the essence of enhanced learning. The minimization of these errors is predominantly modulated by dopamine, a crucial neurotransmitter in decision-making. Add on intrinsic motivation like Messi's drive to win and this fuels the process of enhanced decision-making. We know Messi's relationship with football began at a very early age. By starting off early, we know that he had a number of skills already embedded in his implicit memory, 
also known as procedural memory. And this memory is a very, very innate memory, a core memory that is embedded at an early stage of our life. These memories are embedded in the movement areas along with the emotional and reward areas. And the reason why these memories are embedded in these areas is because children and younger adolescents do not have a fully developed prefrontal cortex. And thus what they're doing through the early stages of childhood and adolescence is learning through repetition, rehearsal, and really just having fun. This becomes relevant to psychiatry and neuroscience. For example, we know that children learn languages a lot faster than adults can. And that's because they learn it through implicit memory, whilst adults learn through explicit memory, which often relies on the prefrontal cortex. This implicit memory helps consolidate important skills, enabling individuals to make quick and skilled decisions, even in high pressure situations. Here is a video of his coach talking about him when he was younger. Next, the concept of a flow state is pivotal in understanding Messi's exceptional decision making. Training his implicit memory and skill at a young age allowed him to tap into the insula, a region that aids interoception which means an awareness of one's body and decision making. The insula allows an individual to enter into flow state. The insula driven flow state minimizes anxiety, thus freeing up the prefrontal cortex for advanced decision making. Now, when we combine Messi's early consolidation of footballing skills in his implicit memory, combined with insula training, this combination is paved the way for enhanced decision-making under pressure. You see, the insula lives in the future. The process of repetition and exposure over prolonged periods prepares the insula for what is to come and hence reduces anxiety in anticipatory situations. The early skills consolidation, the flow state, now sets up the foundation for enhanced pattern recognition. Scanning the field enhances Messi's pattern recognition capabilities, a trait vital to decision-making. Through exposure over decades, Messi's brain has consolidated a number of patterns, just like a chess player. He's able to anticipate a range of situations and when faced with difficult situations under pressure, he's able to enter into flow state. His prefrontal cortex can swiftly weigh up the probabilities and arrive at the most valuable decision. You see, the human brain is very poor at logic, but to excel at pattern recognition, exposure to a range of situations is crucial. This is what we call experience, but just exposure or experience isn't enough. Exposure and experience needs to be combined with insight development. This is what sets up the foundation for enhanced problem solve. This principle aligns with Wolfgang Schulhans' differential learning. In differential learning, instead of just repetition, individuals are exposed to a range of complex situations to enhance problem solving. Thus, when they're faced with challenging situations, they're able to utilize these range of strategies that they've previously used to arrive at the best possible decision. Thus, Messi's extensive scanning allows him to gather more information, empowering him with a wealth of insights to make precision calculated decisions. Messi's unique ability doesn't end with scanning. After every action, he evaluates the outcomes and adapts. This information that is gleaned from adaptation is consolidated in implicit memory, freeing up the prefrontal cortex again for future enhanced decision-making. The football match is so dynamic, fast-paced, and complex 
it challenges the limits of our eyes. So how does all of this tie together to make him the best player in the world? Let me summarize it for you. Eye tracking studies have shown that elite players' scans are really quick. 90% of scans last less than 0.7 seconds and rarely involves fixation of the eye. However, just scanning is never sufficient. To benefit from scanning, players need to actually pick up the information and convert it into action. And in order to do this, many complex cognitive processes are involved. And this is what makes Messi so special. It's not just his footballing skills, it's his ability to free up the prefrontal cortex under situations of pressure to make the best decisions. And this enhanced decision-making ability has been developed through years of practice, repetition, intrinsic motivation, and active desire to scan and analyze and consolidate new learning after each game. By being that slightly different in terms of his scanning, in relation to other elite players, he's able to have the edge. When this thinly small difference in scan rates between Messi and his competitors adds up over decades, this compounds his knowledge to an unbelievably heightened state to enhance pattern recognition. Now, how do we apply this to fields outside sports or football? You see, these principles extend beyond football and hold true in any field. As a psychiatrist, I regularly analyze complex cases, such as patients resistant to treatment. As a clinician, I seek for asymmetries, much like Messi searches for spaces on the field and to uncover overlooked information that may make a difference to the patient. While as clinicians, we all know the fundamentals of diagnosis, history taking, mental state examination, phenomenology, pharmacology, etc., the greatest strides in patient care often arise from identifying these hidden factors in searching for asymmetries. Well, of course, in this video, I'm not sure whether Messi consciously is aware of all of these things that makes him the best player in the world. Neuroscience, however, tells us that excellence aligns with the remarkable workings of the frontostriatal circuit, procedural and declarative memory coming together to enhance pattern recognition and thus enhance decision making. And there you have it, Lionel Messi's excellence decoded through the lens of neuroscience. It's not just about his dribbling or footballing skills. It's about his intricate understanding of scanning, implicit memory and decision making that sets him apart. Remember that these principles can elevate your performance in any domain. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the human brain and its incredible potential. If you found this video useful, don't forget to check out our other content on success and excellence. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave us a like. And don't forget to let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are on what makes Messi the best player in the world. Until next time, stay curious. Bye-bye.